one attempt. That's all it's going to take, hopefully. Because, I mean, I got those pause buffer strats. I'm ready for this. I'm probably going to have to warm up a bit, though, because I probably don't remember everything. But, um, so what do you think about Lucas? I'll, I, um, I like Lucas. Mm -hmm. I think he's got some potential. I, however, do not yeah. think that he's going to be a game changer. Same here. Like, I, like, think I, I see potential in him, but he's hard to use. And he's just, he's inferior to Ness, in my opinion. Yeah. Like, like, Ness is... Whew, Ness. Like Ryu, I can see... Oh, yeah. Being a... Cam could potentially be a major game changer. Yes. Mewtwo, Mewtwo, while I didn't like him at first, Steve showed me that he definitely has potential. Mm -hmm. Lucas, I see a little bit, but not a lot. Roy, I see absolutely none. <laughs> like, literally, I see Jack with Roy. Like, like Marth players are going to play Roy, and they're going to be like, he's not as good. Mm. Like people are like like people who don't know how to space play Lucina and they're like oh she's so good but people who do know how to space know that Marth is technically better mm. because you know how to space with him his tipper does more damage than Lucina well it's like Lucina has consistent damage Marth's got first off his horizontal his attacks when you hit at the tip if you're good enough to always hit at the tip which really you should be if you know spacing um, is uh always going to be more powerful and Moth's Blade is actually has better reach horizontally mm -hmm. although I think Lucina's might have a little bit better vertically I'm not certain on that mm -hmm. but... I just can't believe they put Roy in because he, like, he was kind of like an advertisement in Melee you know yeah he was to advertise Fire Emblem 6 he came out before that game was actually released yeah. But, uh, I didn't see the point of putting him back in, and I don't see why people are so excited about him being Boy, back our boy. Back. We already have Roy back in Smash. <laughs> exactly! Why do we need two Roys? But I like telling the little trailer Roy, um, he, like, was shown hitting, uh, the other Roy. It's like Nintendo actually has a sense of humor sometimes. It's funny. I just wish that we could have gotten a different Fire Emblem character or, a, you know, a different character entirely than Roy. I, mean, I know. I, I feel like um, Fire Emblem is starting to get a bit overrepresented. Here's my problem with Fire Emblem. There are more characters in the Fire Emblem universe than sword wielders. There are axe wielders and there are lance wielders. Why can't we have one of those? Exactly. Why do they all have to be sword wielders that play exactly the same, with the exception of Ike and... I mean, Robin plays differently too, but I don't know, Robin's playstyle just doesn't do it for me. It's really awkward. Yeah, I don't like um, Robin at all. I don't really like Ike either, but Ike's just kind of fun to mess around with. While his up B spike is, like, so oh, yeah. stupid. It is amazing. <laughs> okay. I love it. Is the only reason I play Ike is just to see if I can get that every once in a while. Mm. Yeah, no, when literally your only representatives worth playing all play exactly the same, there's a problem. Yeah. Bart's always been like top tier for a reason. Playstyle's been good and it's rarely ever been changed. Clones have always been inferior to him, specifically because they how you have to go about playing him. Uh-huh. But, um, I really hope, like, they keep on giving us, like, new third-party characters, because I thought that was awesome when we got, a uh, Or just new characters in general, not even third-party, just new characters. No, I mean, yeah, Wolf is going to be cool. I guess that'll probably be the last, like reboot character we see well not even reboot just remake well we could potentially see ice climb true yeah i'm sure we'll um i because I've, I've just been waiting for them to say okay this is 3ds only this is wii u only yeah 
Which, I mean, that would be interesting for the competitive game if it's a good character, but... Like, all of a sudden, everyone just switches to Smash 3DS because this ridiculous character is out there now. I mean, with the Smash Ballad, I think that the most viable entry that has the most amount of votes right now, I think, is Double Knight. Really? Sure. Huh. I mean, like, I don't know, like, who else is there, really? I mean, I know that Shantae has a lot of support for whatever reason. I've never played those games. Yeah. Um, main character from... Um, King K. Rool, I know, has got oh. some support, and I'd like to see Tim. He'd be pretty cool. I want I want King K. Rool so badly, more than anything else, ever. Yeah. He would like, actually I, be, like, I, really cool. Do you know how long I've been hoping for King K. Rool to come out? Since ever? Since Melee. <laughs> well, since that, see, Melee was also kind of my first... Well, I've always had Smash 64, but I never really played it too much because I was young. But ever since I started first started playing Smash, I'm like King K. Rule needs to be in this. Um, but then I, sorry. Oh, no, no, no. But uh, I mean, I think anyone from Donkey Kong, fair game. Yeah. Any of the Kongs except. Oh, Cranky Kong for Smash. Even though this probably could seriously be a thing. Yeah, I was gonna say he's actually like he could be a viable entry after Tropical Freeze. Yeah, that's awesome. Um. Kitty Kong? I think Scrooge Kong. What was that? I said Kitty Kong. <laughs> oh yeah, Best I think Kong. he's very hot. <laughs> I think Lanky Kong should be in Smash. I, mean, I don't know. What... There are people that do like Lanky Kong, like not as like an ironic joke, I think. I like Lank. I don't know if I like him for an ironic joke reason or what, but... I, I like Lanky. Like I think I like him as an ironic joke, kind of like how I like Waluigi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Siri Gun. But, um, uh, I mean, I, I mean, what, Waluigi might actually have some, like, you know, because of all those people, might actually be, like, a serious, like, competitor for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, you got a ridiculous amount of lives this run. Oh my. Oh! <laughs> I almost had that one. Yeah, I really did get a lot. Uh, I think Shrek should be in Smash. <laughs> Are there people that seriously say that, like 100% serious? I really do think there are people who... No, I don't think anyone seriously puts him in, but a lot of people put him in as a joke. <laughs> they're like... They're like... Either like, on their reasoning, they'll just quote Shrek is love, Shrek is life. <laughs> you see those things like Shrek takes ogre? Yeah. Well, see, I wonder if like if there is a joke character and everyone votes for it, would Nintendo be able to say no? This is kind of the worst idea I've ever heard in my life. I think Goku should be in Smash. <laughs> Goku's dumb. Yeah. Come on. I mean, can we get a more reasonable representative from Dragon Ball Z if we're gonna do that? <laughs> well, I mean, now with R Ryu being in the game, it's almost like you can almost see Goku, but still, it's a dumb idea in my opinion. I prefer Piccolo in Smash. <laughs> oh, I think uh, Bubbles the Monkey should be in Smash. <laughs> Greg Gregory Smash. should also be along with him. Yes. <laughs> he have like a duck hunt mechanic. <laughs> I think Naruto should be in Smash. <laughs> Oh, I think, uh, Enop should be in Smash. Uh, not Enop, uh, Usopp. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah, just, Enop. He, you know what? He played just like Villager, too. True. <laughs> wow. That's so true. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not Smash without clone characters, so why not? Except for Brawl, really. Well, I mean, Brawl kind of had it, but, I mean, they cut down on it a lot. Yeah. Sure. And uh, Smash 64 didn't really have clones. <laughs> yeah, they just had originals. Well, they had Mario and Luigi with kind of... Yeah. Um, I guess... I, don't, I see a lot of... Sorry. I was going to say, maybe to a lesser extent, Kirby... Hmm. And Melee... 
almost all the new characters are all clones. Dr. Mario. Uh, Pichu. Roy. Um, Ganondorf. Yep. Yep. Falco. Yep. Who else? Well, Luigi was... Falco, on. yes. And then, oh, even Mewtwo's... Mewtwo is a loose kind of Zelda. Loose. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, and Mewtwo is, it has to be a clone of someone. Um... He's kind of like bits and pieces of everyone put together. <laughs> yeah, um... The Seven. Ice Climbers were original. Bowser was original. Peach was oh, yeah. original. It's weird. I think Bowser was just introduced in Melee. Same with Peach. That is true. Yeah. Who else was... In Man, Bowser. imagine the SM64 model of Bowser being in Smash 64. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. Yeah. A downsized version of his 64. Imagine if Ridley was in 64. Yeah, I want Ridley in Smash. <laughs> Why do you okay, even want that? I don't know. He's a stage hazard and a boss. You, by making him a player, you're like downgrading him. Exactly. I think Craig should be in Smash. <laughs> well, I mean, with their logic, it's reasonable. I hope that I don't know why, but I really hope the Craig stage reappears. Which one? Is that is that weird? <laughs> the Brinstar Death stage. Yeah. I like the music in that stage, but like, I don't yeah. really like the stage itself. I mean, the stage itself is silly, but I just want to see it return and see what they could do with it. I'd like I to see a Sometimes... mega version of that stage. Yeah, that's basically what I was thinking. I'm like, would Trade still be in the background? No, because Ridley would have been in the background. First wall is the hardest wall, I tell you. Okay. They also have Rusty with this game. I don't know. Between the two, I mean... I mean, Kraid was a stage hazard in Smash before Ridley was. True. Clearly, Nintendo's taking favoritism towards Kraid, therefore Ridley needs to be a character. <laughs> oh my. That's fired. Exactly. <laughs> I think Mega Man EXE should be a character. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, dude, no, that was really a legitimate thing I saw. Oh, wow. There were, like, people who wanted that. Why? It's in the final smash. <laughs> Ooh, I always forget. It's three... A lot of the... Okay, okay oh. I have to point out something about the Mega Man collection. I'm probably not going to buy it. Mm, I'm not likes... even going to touch it, and I will tell you why. Because... Mega Man's 1 through 6, they have been re-released <laughs> on Virtual Console for both Wii and Wii U. Mm. They've been released on the PlayStation. They've been re-released on the PlayStation. They've been released on the Anniversary Collection for both the GameCube and the PS2. Yep, I have them all. We I have pretty much every re-release you could have. I'm, I still want to buy like a... You don't need another re-release of the It's... Everyone who's a ga serious gamer has probably played Mega Man. Yeah. And, I mean, I still want to get it because I think the leaderboard idea is actually pretty cool. But, I mean, it's, it's still kind of pointless. But I'm like, you know, Capcom could be making a new game. They could work on that Legends 3 game that has a, a Facebook page with 100,000 people, but... We released Mega Man's 1 through 6. That's what everyone was asking for. Thanks, Capcom. <laughs> did you notice how I was edging to the right a bit there? I did see that. I wasn't trying to. That was my controller. I've done that before. Uh, I feel like the Turbo Tunnel is... Okay. 
Oh, so it's just the game. That's good to know. That's not my controller. So I'm pretty sure it's just that, because I know it's done that to me, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just hitting down, up, down, up, down, up. <laughs> Hopefully this will be the run. I don't see why it wouldn't be. Just gotta play good. Yeah, should be. <laughs> Can't believe I lost with the queen, man. I would have been, been able to say I beat this game in two and a half hours. Which, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I feel like in a way it's though it's kind of okay. If you wanted to re-release Mega Man, you could have also you know re-released one through. <laughs> could have done that too. True. And you know I think people would have appreciated it a little more because at least you're acknowledging that you know Mega Man's done other things besides B eight bit, which it has a lot. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I mean, I still love my 8-bit Mega Man so much, but still, I think 7 deserves recognition as a game as well. Yeah. Because 7, 7 is a great game. I could do without 5, 6, and 8. Very underappreciated. I can't believe I died like three times in Turbo Tunnel. Ooh, almost died there. I, mean, I don't know because um, Capcom did re release a lot of Mega Man games and like stuff like that for Mega Man. Hmm. Maybe it's a sign of things to come. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Mega Man won't have a tombstone. I don't know, I don't think that these re-releases of the six games... They don't sell well, Capcom's gonna use that as an excuse to not make Mega Man games. Well, everyone wants to play the classic games, if no one's buying the classic games, no one wants to play Mega Man. When it's like, that's not really going to be the case of why it doesn't sell. The reason why it's not going to sell is because everyone's already played the classics before. <clears throat> Anyone who's a Mega Man fan has probably played them. Therefore, they're not going to want to buy them again because they've probably already bought them before. Yeah. And newer gamers are going to be put off by, you know, the fact that it's, you know, 8-bit. Why I think I'd like to see a Mega Man game, like a new main series Mega Man game that tries to do have like a more ma modern like graphic style, like maybe like a rebirth. Hmm. I'd like to see that. I'd like to see where they could take that. Never gonna see that because Capcom's lazy. <laughs> I mean, that's what Mega Man Universe was gonna be. Hmm. 2010, the year of Mega Man getting cancelled. <laughs> Here we go, hardest jump coming up. I hate this jump so much. Yeah, it eats inputs like crazy because you're going down, you know? I don't even know why I didn't jump there. It's kind of just random. You get it sometimes, sometimes you don't. No big problem. I've come to realize recently with the PS2 and the X the Xbox and the GameCube, I missed a lot of games from that generation. A lot of good games. And huh. bad games alike. Can't be missing the bad games. Well, I'm missing Spyro 4, so... <laughs> I mean, I'm missing a game you can beat in five minutes. <laughs> because you can, like, go through everything that was ever a thing, because it was obviously not bug-tested at all. <laughs> wow. Amazing. Sounds great. I remember a while back there was um there were advertisements like because I mean Crash Bandicoot much like Spider the Dragon is pretty much synonymous with had a lot of games that weren't for kind of died because yeah. Activision bought them uh -huh. but um but apparently. I know that Crash had a fourth game on the PlayStation 2, 
GameCube and Xbox. It was Crash for the Wrath of Cortex, and I heard that game was terrible. So at that point, I pretty much like gave up hope. I know, I know, I knew that there was a fifth game called Twin Sanity that was released on the PlayStation 2. I didn't hear about it being released to other consoles, but I thought that it looked good. But I never had a PlayStation 2, and um. I realize now that obviously the PlayStation 2 is the console I should have had mm -hmm. that generation because that was the one that had the only Crash game of that generation worth. <laughs> From now on, I'm calling that one turn just RNG. I don't know what RNG what. RNG the turn. Yes, I got, no. Okay, I got decent RNG, but I, I survived. I think that a lot of these turns could actually be RNG, but it's just because the turns are so. Sp Hmm. Well, that one is just huge, though. Well, yeah, it's because you got a straightaway. It's weird. Maybe, um... Maybe it really is your controller, and when you're hitting down inputs, it's maybe like... Maybe. I, cause, I mean, I've never had problems with that before. I could switch controllers, because my other controller just doesn't have a working L button. I'll try that. Look at that, man. Okay, I'm switching controllers. So that was my frayed wire controller. This is my cracked controller. Hopefully this one works a bit better. I guess there are PS2 emulators. Iffy. Very iffy. Hmm. Wow, look at this. It was the controller. For all my excuses were actually correct. You would have beat this game way before now. <laughs> I tried so hard to convince myself that it was just me, but first first time ever I was right. <laughs> Next one's duck. No, it's is it three or something? I don't remember. Is it duck jump duck jump jump? Uh, that might be right. Sorry about that, Next one's duck. Okay, then. Don't complain about the original Klinger Winger going. Hmm. Ever. Yeah. Not especially hard, but... Who barely made that one jump. It was right. It, is, it was... <laughs> wow. It was the controller the entire time. Wow, that's just sad. <laughs> I definitely would have beaten that game. Wow. So I did, we can say I beat that level with a faulty controller, which is pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. I remember that um, I played one of them, it was Crash Boom Bang. On yes, and oh my god, it was the... You know what? So people call Sonic Shuffle the worst Mario Party ripoff ever made. No. <laughs> Crash Beam Bang is somehow even lower. Song is great. Which the game's whole soundtrack is great. I agree. Ooh. I'm kind of automatically assuming I'm not going to get any lives, because this, this bonus game is hard.
What is the point of that? Come on, man, we're almost there. No! Two we away. The points anyway. I was two away. That's a hard, hard, hard bonus game. Harder than. The other one, yeah. Okay, remember, pause buffering. It's very oh, yeah. You already know. I'm not going to use it on the first two, just to be fair, though. And since I have extra continues, I might as well just, you know, play fair at the beginning. Oh, yeah. I'm actually taking it ca um, carefully with my um, health now. I don't even know how you beat the Clinger Winger with that. <laughs> Me either. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that frame perfect turn. Oh my. Look at that frame perfect right there. I've not seen the rat for years. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't even think I'm going to see him on the fall. Got him. No. Oh. Yeah. Is it to the left or right? Oh, shoot. I think it's in the middle. Okay. Got it. Okay, there's a checkpoint here. I hope. Okay, I'm just gonna do this death list right here. Get my revenge. Oh, nice shot there. Oh, nice shot. I'm glad to get practice though. Radical damage. So hard to dodge. Who nice shot. I so pretty much have to guess when it comes to that, but I'm gonna have so many lives, I'll be fine. I'm hoping. I hope. <laughs> Thank you. Based on the platforms, you don't have to get. So I think when she's ever she's in the middle, and I go like that. Well, I don't know. I have to guess pretty much. Yeah. So right here, she should. No, she's not going to. Yeah. 
He or she's definitely going to. Yeah, there's no way I was going to dodge the shit on the other side. Okay, it's random. That confirms it. Yeah. I'm guessing. I was wrong. I think most of the time it's jump. Yeah. Not. Oh, I should just react when it's like that. Okay, or not. Hate this fight. Look at this. I think it's might be a little bit more challenging than. Uh... Hmm. I saw a bit of lag there. And I thought that was a final hit. Oh, I should have gone right on it. Yay! Okay, so let's see how. Oh, so we beat the game in three hours. That's technically not it, though. Oh. We technically, have one final stage, but it does not affect the outcome whatsoever. Mm. It affects your ending. Mm. Cosmically cool. Holy hip hop, toads. Oh, I love this theme. for the hardest stage. Oh yeah. Tweak my... <laughs> I wish that they actually had like, the voice acting that really nerdy... <laughs> Is that rip? That's rip. <laughs> oh, you get quite a few shots of this. Oh, I did it three times. Wow. Got him. Yay! <laughs> that would actually be pretty difficult in a speedrun, probably, because you'd have to get all three in a row. That wasn't too bad. Yeah. Okay. So three hours for a Battletoads game. That's kind of impressive, <laughs> I guess. I was not expecting that to be so easy. <laughs>